Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the best channels that you can find on YouTube in order to learn about data science. Now, data science is a discipline where uh, a data scientist writes code in order to crunch data. So we need to talk about mathematics, we need to talk about data crunching tools, we need to talk about coding. So these are all various disciplines that come under the field of data science. So we've compiled some of the best channels that you can view on YouTube in order to talk, in order to learn about data science. Let's start off. Here comes our first channel, 3Blue1Brown. 3Blue1Brown is an excellent source for mathematics. If you look at their YouTube channel, so 3Blue1Brown talks about many of the mathematical concepts that a data scientist would need. For example, you have convolutions, you've got Borwein integrals, um, Olympiad level counting, um, computing eigenvalues, etc. So there are many videos here talking about mathematical principles. Um, if you look at their playlist, you can see that they've also collaborated with other channels as well. So here you can see linear algebra, calculus, neural networks, differential equations, lockdown math, etc. So this is our top pick for talking at, for learning about mathematics when it comes to becoming a data scientist. Let's look at another source. This one is related to a coding language. When we talk about Python, Python is a very important coding language when it comes to um, when it comes to creating data science applications. Corey Schaefer is what is the source that we've picked to talk about Python. So Corey Schaefer it here talks about creating tutorials and walkthroughs for software developers, programmers and engineers. So we've got beginner videos, we've got advanced videos on Python, we've got some videos on other applications as well but Python is the most important takeaway here. If we look at their playlist you can see Python tutorials, starting from beginners, to setting up environments, to OOP tutorials. So Python is Cory MS's specialty, and so therefore, that's why we chose this. Now, let's look at another coding language. This one is SQL. We chose Joey Blue as our source. So Joey Blue is again a channel that specifically focuses on SQL, SQL by the way. So here you can, if you look at their videos, you can see very important, you can see various videos, some based on basic training, others on server training, and you've got advanced videos as well, such as breaking down jobs, installing Microsoft server developers, and so on. So. The best way to know about any channel is to look at their playlist so you can see server training, common table expression, jobs and interviews, questions and answers, server functions, windowing functions, where clauses, Excel to SQL, SQL date times, etc. So you've got stuff from basic training to advanced training here on Joey Blue. So if you are someone with an interest in data science and you need to brush up your SQL, this is the place to go. Right, the next coding language, or actually application that we need to talk about is Microsoft Excel. Excel is a very, very powerful tool when it comes to um, crunching da data, and so as a data scientist, you would need to work on Excel quite a lot. And Excel has a lot of functions, which is why we chose Excel as fun as one of our YouTube channels to go for when it comes to becoming a data scientist. The reason being, it talks a lot about Excel. So over here, you have free Excel education from Professor Mike Gervin, and we've got various videos talking about various functions, formulas, and you know tutorials. So you have Excel formula to count maximum consecutive items. You've got lookup formulas, filter formulas, logical tests, stat analysis, filter by month. So as you can see, there are there are very there are a lot of videos when it comes to um, 
Excel applications. So we have a look at their playlist. You have got a Microsoft 365 class, so that's the latest version of Excel. Then you've got stat analysis, array function playlist, single cell formula, lambda functions, data analysis, Christmas tree videos, full Excel data analysis basics. So as you can see, there are basic courses and then there are very advanced courses for many of your particular doubts when it comes to Excel functions. So this channel is a good source to talk about, to study about Excel. Now, let's look at another code. Another coding language that is very important is Tableau. Now Tableau is not exactly a coding language, it's more uh, about something that um, it's a platform that where we use the analytical flow where we represent analytical flow of sales so if we look at Tableau Tim's website on YouTube so Tableau Tim's channel um, talks about summarizing on the platform the proper string functions image roles cloud-based connectors how to load data and how to zone visibility perform. So as you can see, there are many videos here talking about Tableau, how to create a pie chart in there, how to improve data, embed Tableau public in Notion, improved quick search, etc. And we've also got updated videos talking about the latest updates in 2022, also about new features coming in. So the, ta the channel constantly updates itself, so it is a very good source. You've got shorts, you've got live, vid live, screenings as well. If we look at their playlist, you can see virtual connections, what we do in Tableau, learning Snowflake, simple charts, conference, metrics, asking da data, file types, course, etc. So these are some of the important things you need to know about Tableau. Next we have Guy in a Cube. Now Guy in a Cube, their specialty is Power BI. Again, another important um, another important tool when it comes to becoming a data scientist. So if we look at their videos, talking about profile with Azure data, Power Query tip, building a slicer panel, writing some DAX. So as you can see, um, there, there are very uh, there are very basic videos here talking about explanation of a lot of terms. We're also here about actual use cases as well. So therefore, um, uh, Power, if you want to learn more about Power BI, then Guy in the Cube talks a lot about Power BI. If you look at their playlists, then you can see most of the playlists here are actually full on about Power BI. So therefore, um, this is a good place to, for a data scientist to learn about Power BI. Next, we've got Centex and this is particularly useful for learning about machine learning. Now we've got um, elements of Python to, which are being used here. However, um, Sendex is particularly known for its mis machine learning videos. So if you look at the channel, so over here, OpenAI's chat GPT, Google AI diffusion image, etc. So it talks a lot about AI and machine learning. So the future of user interfaces, deep learning laptop, building an NAS. So here we've got uh, it, a lot of information videos talking about various companies, is, companies and their latest products. We've also talking about how to work on AI applications. It's not just machine learning, we've, we can also actually do stuff here using Python and other coding languages in order to create um, actual machine learning algorithms. So if you look at their playlists, find out you've got a home lab, uh, one particularly on AI, physics simulators, reinforcement learning, neural networks from scratch for Python, um, deep learning basics, etc. So when it comes to applying your coding languages for machine learning applications, it's a good idea to look up Sendex. And here comes our final source. This is a special source, and the source is Leila Karani. 
Now here we've got a multitude of videos, so it's not just about one particular subject. So we've got videos on uh, on free Windows utilities. We've got Power BI videos. We've got videos on Microsoft, and we've got a lot of uh, important stuff on Excel and other Microsoft applications. So a lot of people don't exactly use Microsoft applications to their fullest so therefore it's a good idea to get in here and talk about um, Power BI, talk about video recording and editing, technology, Office scripts, Excel and you've got stuff about OneNote, PDF and also about Windows so if you are a Windows user then it's a good idea to, to come in here because Windows you've got a lot of hidden applications, hidden uses in Windows and it's a good idea to you know use them up so that you become more productive when it comes to being a data scientist or in general life so as you can see if you look it up you've got loads of playlists here drop down lists excel arrays got other apps microsoft teams as well so therefore these are some of the playlists that you can find out here and these are very good when it comes to increasing productivity so we hope you found this video informative when it comes to your career for being a data scientist there are multiple videos that you need to watch on because there are multiple subjects that involves being a data scientist you're talking mathematics power bi machine learning um, coding languages for machine learning such as python um, you've got uh, SQ sql as well so therefore and it's also a good idea to look for um, to look for productivity features that make you, that make your usage more productive so you've got a special segment for that so those those are our top picks for YouTube channels to learn about data science so we hope you found this interesting for more of our useful and interesting content don't forget to subscribe to our channel brain blitz audios you can also hit the bell icon for more videos such as this one so until the next episode take care stay safe bye bye for now